good morning, great afternoon, and great or great evening, depending on the time you are joining us on our online class today. My name is Mr. Michael, your mathematics teacher. Today we'll be looking at something new. We'll be looking at um, some um, terms in our business that we do every day. So we'll be looking at social transaction with money. Yes, money. Money. We are talking about money today. See, money is money answered all. Well, I don't really know how truthful that is, but I know it answers so many things. Yeah, it's one of the most important things in the life of a man or any creature. Most people are human beings. If there's no money, then it will just be as if you are not uh, part of yourself. You see, you are just part of someone else. Somewhat, if they are telling your stories, it will be as if maybe someone is using you to operate somewhere while you are here you don't know you'll be hearing abstract things where you don't have the money but when you have it you will hear about yourself you will like yourself so today first of all we'll look at the meaning of transaction so whenever you conduct any business or whenever you do exchange any kind of exchange you do exchanging money for a product or exchanging two products or when you do transfer of funds or anything that can bring an exchange between you and someone else is called a transaction doesn't matter whether you are, you are getting a gain or loss business is business transaction is transaction exchange on the, on the, on the line the word exchange that is what transaction is now we'll also look at bank checks in anything concerning money, transaction, checks, and draft, they are involved. Even though it's not everything, but most things. Because I know there are some businesses we do, we don't need to go to the bank. So I wouldn't say everything, just part of it. Like these days, the banking sector have uh, occupied everywhere. Nobody does a change of goods for goods again, which is better, trade by better. Everybody needs money, and nobody keeps money at home, all through. Most of our monies are kept in the bank. So this check now, what is a check? A check is a written order in form of a paper that directs the bank to pay money, maybe to an individual or to an organization. That is a check for you. Then we have bank checks. Bank have their own check, while individuals have their own check. So, some of the checks are issued to us by the banks that we are operating with. So, those ones are called the bank checks. Then, there are some of these uh, other checks that are issued to us by other banks. We use them for the same product, for the same business. So a check is a written or it is written by a bank from one of its accounts. What do I say one of its accounts? What do I mean? You are the account holder. Your name is the account name. The account you have there is bank's account. It's your own bank account. So individually the bank doesn't know you, they know your account. It's only when you get there or when you go you go there that they know that okay, you are the owner of this account. You don't stay with them, but your account stays with them. So any check that is given to you, it is it has a connection with any account. It is registered under any other another account. That once that check is given to you, the bank sees it. They will know that okay, is this account that the bank is coming that the check is coming from. So they will collect it, go to that account get the money that is there if they are supposed to be if the money is supposed to be given to you they will withdraw the money from there or they will transfer the money from there to you so let's move on these very checks now they are of different types we have different types of checks let's look at some of them we have the bearer's check it is also known as an open check in this open check this one is negotiable the date it has time limit maybe it's supposed to stay for just three months but if after three months 
you that is supposed to go and cash the money. If you don't go there to cash the money, and the time elapses, it can be revalidated. So when they revalidate it, they can update it. They can bring it back up to date to show that you have you did not go there to collect the money. So what is going to happen is either the owner of the, the check, the one that issued you the check, sign on it so that they will know that, okay, the person did not come over here to collect the money. But the owner of the account says that we should still pay him the money even though the time has expired. So, the person will sign on it. Then they'll give you the money. But it is always good to work on time. Don't wait for someone to push you before you push yourself. Then we have self-checks. These self-checks is your own check and it's your own. So if you take these ones to the bank to withdraw money or you want to withdraw money from this very account, instead of you to write the tell you to write the account um, the name of account or the beneficiary account, the, that means the account where the money is going to or who is supposed to collect the money. Instead of you to write your name again, just write self. That means self means the person that is the owner of the account is the one withdrawing the money. He is the one cashing the money. He is the one collecting the money physically. So that you don't need to write, even if you don't write your names multiple times, it doesn't matter. They will have the account pay use check. So the payee, there are two terms. I want us to let me explain them separately so that we understand. We have the payee and we have the payer. They are two different people. Two different set of people. One of them is the one that pays. And the one that pays is called the payer. And one of them is the one that receives. And the one that receives is called the payee. So if the check is given to the payee, that means the person collecting the, the, the money, the money will be transferred from the check, through the check, will be transferred from the account of the payer. That means the person that gives the check. The money will be transferred from the person's account directly to the person that is supposed to collect the money's account. Or if the person needs the money in cash, if the person needs the money in cash, the money can be given to the person in cash. So this one is one of the safest way of, you know, check um, uh, way of transaction. It's the safest way of doing any money business, monetary business these days. Because so many people are looking up to see what they can collect from other people. So as I'm here now, I'm not with any money. I can do any transaction I want to do. Nobody will come and hold me. Hey, bring that your mind that you're using to transact. If you seize my mind, you cannot even seize my mind. You will not get money from it. Even if you seize someone's check on the road, you cannot cash it because you don't have any means of identification. If they say, okay, the person you pay with that card, the other card you have does not carry your name. The face that is on the other card is not the face of the person that that is supposed to call it the money. I mean, it becomes difficult. So there they will know that you are a criminal. You snatched the case, the, the check from someone. So you'll be arrested immediately. So don't try it. So we have the post test check. This one is a cross check. So this type of check is value date. It's up to three months. But the dates can also still be readjusted based on whatever that makes the, the owner or the person not being able to get the money.